In this video, I explain the air pollutant, what is air pollution, environmental pollution, what is air pollution, and how we categorize the air pollutions. Then, uh, in particularly, a primary air pollutants, carbon monoxide, oxides of nitrogen, oxides of sulfur. Their uh, sources, ill effects, and how we control these uh, materials. The first thing is what is environmental pollution? That is addition of undesirable foreign substance into the environment, which adversely affect the nature of the quality of the environment, causing damage to the living condition of human being and plants. That means addition of some undesirable foreign substance into the environment which adversely affect the natural quality of the environment and causes damage to the living condition. Called it as a environmental pollution. In particularly air pollution that is nothing but the excessive discharge of undesirable foreign substance into the air. It is particularly we introduced into the air thereby adversely affect the quality of air causing damage to human plants and animal lives. The common air pollutants are carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides or oxides of nitrogen, sulfur oxides, hydrocarbons, particulate matter, mercury, lead. The secondary air pollutants are, they are not directly released into the atmosphere but they form when the certain contents of the atmosphere components react with the primary pollutant. That is primary pollutant reacts in the atmosphere then it uh, produce a secondary air pollutant. In that, the mainly uh, what we observed is the ozone, um, smog, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, etc. They are created due to the interaction between the primary air pollutant with the primary pollutant with the uh, atmospheric component. Then in that, I first I'll consider the carbon monoxide. The carbon monoxide, that is a CO. One of the most serious air pollutants. It is a colorless, odorless gas, highly poisonous to living being because of its ability to block the delivery of oxygen, its ability to block the delivery of oxygen to the organs and tissues. Now already known how uh, if uh, the components uh, block the delivery of the oxygen to the organs then what will happen? To the living uh, 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 happens. We already uh, come to know that the sources of this, oxy uh, this carbon monoxide, the main sources of carbon monoxide is burning of charcoal. Wood. The carbon containing component when we burn that time a carbon dioxide, uh, sorry carbon monoxide is formed. Even by the oxidation of methane with oxygen and even forest fire. So, the combustion of fossil fuel is a main source of carbon monoxide that is for even the forest uh, fire or even the oxidation of methane with the, uh, oxygen that creates. And the incomplete combustion of CNG that is like methane when it undergo incomplete combustion carbon monoxide and water form. Industrial process in even the factory that uh, releases plenty of uh, carbon monoxide. The fa factory releases a plenty of carbon monoxide. That is uh, such as in the blast furnace, in iron extraction, coal mining, petroleum refining, etc. Even the vehicles, thermal power plants. So constitute exhaust gases in automobiles of internal combustion engine where proper combustion does not take place. And even by... Uh, by even uh, using by uh, this one BD and cigarettes, they also contribute some to some extent of uh, uh, carbon monoxide. Okay, that is harmful to the living organism. Then, what are the ill effects is observed when the carbon monoxide is inhaled if it is entered into the bloodstream? See. Here, you can, when the gas is inhaled to the bloodstream, it is directly entered into the, the carbon monoxide, uh, leaves the blood to enter the uh, tissues and lungs. So, they can block the 
uh, organ uh, and after the carbon monoxide is breathed in they enter into the blood streams and mix with the hemoglobin it combine with the when it enter and then it combine with the hemoglobin and forming carboxy hemoglobin it forms uh, carboxy hemoglobin it forms carboxy hemoglobin which is uh, 300 times more stable than oxy hemoglobin okay so even the carbon dioxide carbon sorry carbon monoxide and oxygen both are inhaled that time the carbon monoxide when it bind with the hemoglobin it forms carboxy hemoglobin and the oxygen when it binds it forms oxy hemoglobin the complex carboxy hemoglobin is 300 times stable than the oxy hemoglobin and uh, when this happens the blood is no longer able to carry the oxygen so uh, and uh, this lacks uh, lack of oxygen causes body cells and tissue to fail and die that means carbon dioxide sorry carbon monoxide reduces oxygen carrying capacity of blood this results in headache weak eyesight nervousness cardiovascular disorder etc and even the, when high concentration of carbon monoxide inhaled, this causes heart pain even death. And also the inhaling of a high amount of carbon monoxide causes some respiratory diseases. These are the major ill effects observed by car inhaling carbon monoxide. How we can control? The one is modification in the internal combustion engine. How to modify the internal combustion engine? or you may introduce a catalytical converter in an internal combustion engine so that the carbon monoxide is absorbed by the converter and what the air sorry what the uh, uh, gases uh, out from the uh, engine it is free from carbon monoxide and development of substituent substitute fuels like cng lpg is important and even the treatment of exhaust gas that is particularly the gas which is evolved from uh, factories it should be properly treated then it is introduced to the atmosphere the next i'll take the oxides of nitrogen the oxides of nitrogen found in the atmosphere may be in the form of uh, uh, nitrous oxide or a nitrogen monoxide it is also called as nitrous oxide or a nitrogen monoxide or a nitric oxide or nitrogen dioxide. The main source of these oxides of nitrogen is the biological oxidation of nitrogenous compounds in the soil. You know, the soil, the fertility of the soil increases if the nitrogen con nitrogen present in that soil. So, but by the biological oxidation of the nitrogenous compound in the soil, uh, or oxides of nitrogen, nitrous oxide and nitrogen, nitric oxides are formed. This get easily oxidized thereby forming the nitrogen dioxide in the air. The main natural sources of uh, nitrogen oxides are the lightning. During lightning, the N2, nitrogen and oxygen or the ni nitrogen combine with the air to form nitrous oxide it forms a nitric sorry it forms a nitric oxide the nitric oxide then gets oxidized to form nitrogen dioxide here it forms the n2 during lightning time you can observe here so i put uh, during lightning time or even by the organic uh, component the nitrogen which containing in the soil the decomposed by a microorganism thereby it produces uh, 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 nitrous oxide, uh, nitrogen, uh, further nitrous oxide or nitric oxide and further get oxidized to nitrogen dioxide. And even the uh, bottom of the, uh, some aer under aerobic condition, the river, etc., the bottom of the, uh, their algae, patches, so that type of component present on oxidation, it can produce oxides of the in nitrogen also present in that uh, river. So they produce oxides of nitrogen during lightning uh, nitrogen combined with the oxygen forming nitric oxide it forms nitric oxide once the nitric oxide is formed it further combined with the oxygen of the atmosphere producing nitrogen dioxide 
okay so in this way the oxides of nitrogen the naturally form then man made the other thing is the major source of oxides of nitrogen are combustion of the coal oil the carbon monoxide or uh, any other components like uh, uh, lead mercury uh, particulate matter the all are formed by the combustion of coal oil natural gas and gasoline and even the during manufacture of acids like a sulfuric acids or in other acids the explosive industry that also emits some quantity of oxides of nitrogen and here you can observe the partial combustion of internal uh, inter, uh, internal combustion engine releases oxides of nitrogen which is in the form of nitric oxide and nitrogen dioxide these are the major sources of oxides of nitrogen and what are the ill effect caused by this so the cause of eye irritation and respiratory problem and also cause of lung cancer in human in human body the oxides of nitrogen the oxides of nitrogen usually forms or it irritates the it causes a visibility of road like uh, the sunlight okay the sunlight and the nitrogen oxides and hydrocarbons together combine to forming smog which limits the visibility of road the visibility like nitrates nitrogen dioxide block the light reduces visibility that is mainly due to the com formation of uh, the formation of uh, smog as a result it reduces the visibility the oxides of nitrogen particular nitrogen oxide um, that combine uh, that is nitrogen one oxide that combine with the nitrates or even hydrocarbons and uh, smog uh, during uh, sunlight time which limits the visibility of roads and it may increase the global warming so greenhouse gases in the atmosphere trap heat keeping the earth warm uh, that is nitrogen monoxide is much more damaging the carbon than the carbon dioxide it damages then acid rain it may cause acid rain it also results of acid rain due to the formation of nitric acid damage the forest building and water sources then ground level ozone the from oxides of nitrogen and highly volatile organic compound damage to the lung uh, vegetation and crops then nox can be transported long distance on uh, in the uh, wind the particles of nox reacts formic acid of vapors penetrates lung and causes some bronchitis or respiratory diseases i already discussed the causes eye irritation and respiratory problem and also cause lung cancer in human body when the oxides of nitrate oxides of nitrogen uh, particles reacts with a uh, formic acid vapor and these particles penetrate into the lung causes lung cancers and even some respiratory problems it also causes depletion of ground level ozone layer these are the main uh, environmental impacts of oxides of nitrogen then how we can control this one the oxides of nitrogen can be controlled by passing exhaust gas through catalytic converter through catalytic converter which containing platinum and ro rhodium catalyst this already implemented it converts toxic gases into non toxic nitrogen when we introduce this catalyst so nitrogen dioxide is converted into nitrogen and oxygen the other method is a sorption method treatment of flue gas by injection of sorbent particularly the powdered limestone and ammonia is used and can be removed can absorb the oxides of nitrogen and can be removed uh, nox and other pollutant then selective catalytic reduction by reduction process we can minimize the oxides of nitrogen that entering into the atmosphere use of two stage combustion process in power plant these are the few methods adopted to control the oxides of nitrogen then now i come to the other the third uh, uh, air pollutant particle component is uh, oxides of sulfur the sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide together are called oxides of sulfur sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide the naturally the sulfur uh, dioxide is formed by volcanoes 
the volcanoes while when the volcanoes the produce so that time um, it imparts or the large quantity of sulfur dioxide enter into the atmosphere thermal power plants sulfur containing coal or a fuel are burned that time the sulfur combined with the oxygen forming sulfur dioxide and that enter into the atmosphere so uh, then uh, this particularly the sulfur which is more dangerous than the uh, carbon monoxide or oxides of nitrogen because it forms a breathing problem uh, which is uh, again the and even uh, it uh, come combine with other gases uh, acid gases are formed the burning of coal is the major uh, source of production of sulfur dioxide because the coal contains sulfur that combine with the oxygen forming sulfur dioxide and even the petroleum industries oil refinery sulfuric acid plant also releases some amount of oxides of sulfur see here in the petroleum refineries we can observe some exhaust contains some amount of sulfur it also formed by the oxidation of sulfur dioxide under the influence of sunlight that is sulfur trioxide usually formed by the oxidation of sulfur dioxide then sulfur oxides reacts with water and oxygen in the atmosphere to form sulfuric acid which contribute to the acid rain sulfur it causes it's a the effects of sulfur is uh, uh, with the human being is much more compared to the other gas along with the other gas even carbon monoxide also causes uh, plenty of uh, ill effects uh, here the sulfur uh, uh, dioxide get into the lung uh, and causes lot of uh, problem so it uh, forms some ill effect the oxidation usually it uh, sulfur dioxide is a gas that poisonous to both animal and plant the cardiac respiratory diseases are formed it irritates to eye and throat even the corrosion of metal take place because of the formation of acid damage in plant cells and membrane and what the sulfur dioxide uh, com combined with the oxygen forming sulfuric acid in an acid rain so which is dissolved in the moisture forming sulfuric acid so these are the main ill effect observed how can can control this one the sulfur dioxide emissions are controlled by using spray dryer absorber or by passing through calcium hydroxide solution this is a one spray dryer absorber uh, component here then absorb sulfur dioxide from flue gases through using an activated uh, charcoal or the activated carbon followed by incineration and conversion to sulfuric acid or elemental sulfur then use of low sulfur fuel then discouraging power generation by fossil fuel based on uh, thermal power plants these are the few controlling methods should adopt to control sulfur dioxide production of sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide in turn that entering into the atmosphere thank you